in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Doc, you have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Your signal made it through. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Transmissions are so- Adjutant Akande. Curious. Wells may have been a delusional madman, but he risked his life to save yours. So why turn him in? You've certainly earned it. You've done well. My sources tell me you've been busy on Monarch. I'm sure you've seen the miserable state. All of Monarch's extra... I have an agent working in Stellar Bay. Everett G Yes? So what? Look, that's not important. Get to Stellar Bay and speak to Perth. Crew report. Bioka is drunk. Surprise. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain.
so much for allow me it... I'm not sure whether to be touched or insulted by that look you never met a man more will Sophia does what sort of an amount are we intimating here never mind the deep I and as I am now inextricably in the board's surface I'd say we're done here unless a Give my regards to We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. I've just finished and your work is exemplary. You've earned a place in the chairman's inner circle. Congrat no, I haven't been now. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, 
and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources, while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not-too-distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors, take your vitamins, follow your corporate-mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly. Malnut I know this. Is that why we were suffering plague? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. The colony itself. Yes, Mon- I know your face. Monarch may harbor do- I won't pretend the truth isn't dead. We I Every worker in Edgewater will be ex- I've- Once the hope is in position, I- Hortense yells at me about vagrants one more time. I'm gonna snap. Why do you think I've been ignored? Property is off limits. Solicitors, loiterers, and uninvited visitors will be fined to the fullest extent of company policy. This ultimatum brought to you by Universal Defense Logistics. Well, that's funny. The minister isn't expecting visitors, and you don't much look like one of those couriers from HPS. Sure you are. And what is it you're delivering today?
burning the midnight oil, are we? The Halcyon Parcel Service's work is never done. Welcome to Halcyon Parcel Service. Deliveries guaranteed within standard margins of accuracy. We do, in fact, have a parcel here for a Mr. Clark, comma, Minister. You're not an official member of the Halcyon Parcel Service team. That means you'll have to sign a release form. Oh, I'd have to submit a request for a release form. You're welcome to lodge a complaint in our suggestion box. You do that? Wow. Here's your parcel to be delivered. Rizzo's Lemon Slap. Slap your whole family tonight.
Is Matthew still drinking? You ever been off Monarch, Mioka? Before you met the captain, I mean. Nah, I mostly just drank and hunted. As soon as you stop to dream of other things, that'll be the day something sneaks up and eats you. Don't fret, I'm watching your back now. Anything tries to eat us, I'll give it a mu- There's nothing to see here. Move along, yeah? Huh. All right, go on. How did you get in here? You! You're not one of my guards. What are you doing here? Oh, my law. Captain! Captain! That's the minister! Mr. Clark! Oh, wow! If this is about another aether wave clip or radio spot, you may kindly fuck off, as the parlance goes. I'm not doing any more. Drugs, of course. What else would it be? I don't have any drugs. You should try a vending machine or a purveyor of curative goods. He's got no idea what we're asking about. Will that be all then? Oh dear, I don't think I can say this any more slowly. Unless, of course, of course. It's Rockwell again, who else? And I thought he was only holding me here to keep me out of the way. Chairman Rockwell. He's kept me under house arrest for years. I've long suspected him of transacting business in my name. But this proves it. You've been all alone in this house? Would, would you like me to make you tea? Please, this is important. Whatever it is that brought you here, Rockwell's the one behind it. Whatever Rockwell's doing, he'll be doing it from the HHC headquarters. Your best lead is to look for details in his office. This all feels off, Captain. What? Believe me, things have been off around here for a very, very long time. A reckoning is most certainly due. This colony's... Exactly. Why, this is starting to sound like an issue of Dissident Hunter. Via the Acropolis District, of but only... There might be a route through the maintenance tunnels, but I'm afraid I don't know specifics. Most people... When you reach the HHC building, this access card should get you up to the executive suite. Wait! Rockwell has one of the only terminals capable of transmitting to the Earth... Please, take this and transmit it from his office. Rockwell has... But they need to know what's happening here. What isn't on it is the real question. I've gathered meeting minutes, internal messages, sustainability reports, and more, all exposing the corruption and once the... But they wouldn't get here for... It's worth a try, but the Earth Director...
Adjutant Akande has instructed me to reward you for information lead. Quite so. I've off as do let me know. How may I be of assistance? I am at your service.
How may I be of assistance? could dismantle a single room of this place, sell the materials, and feed everyone on Monarch for a month. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell, and I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that... That was our story. I beg your pardon, Minister Clark's former office is currently closed to solicitors. What? Oh dear. Thank you for reminding Not so fast. The Ministry of Accuracy and Morale is off limits to everyone without X-36 Basically, if you don't work here, or for Chairman Rockwell himself, 
I don't know how you got that, but I still don't know you, and I don't have any new clearances on the list. I think I'm gonna start taking my lunches out of the city. That woman from downstairs is still in the cafeteria. That scientist? The one she has in the mouth of the She gives me the shutters, too. They're all pretty unpleasant. Don't let the guards hear you asking questions or peeking in the back. hear about you ordering more tests performed with sample 4157. That back failed to
Captain Hawthorne never worked to support... We've arrived at Phineas's orbital lab.
in your absence, optimized my formula. All I need now is the dimethyl sulfoxide. What? Oh, yes, well, that's obvious. Anyone with two working lamps can see this colony slouching toward oblivion. Why do you think we've been doing all this? I revived you to help me save Halcyon from annihilation. Freeze all the workers? Why? So a gang of powdered toffs can carry on living in Byzantium? You call that a plan? I always knew Halcyon was heading toward a system's collapse, but I never imagined we were already there. The board... That's not a plan. That's a goddamn escape clause. That makes two things we don't have. None of this was supposed... Human test subjects. Oh, that's grotesque. That's unthinkable. That's exactly what I... Thank you. Those poor people. What nonsense. Pe I'll tell you this much. The board scientists are hopelessly lost. After years of fruitless experimentation, they've made exactly zero. We're out of time. Do you realize what this means for the hope? For your fellow colonists? The board's going to kill them all. Toss them out. No. No, it wasn't. We have... Well, let's see. We, we have at least some of the chemicals. We have your ship, and we have you. Let us to count for something. Do you know what's waiting for us on the hope? Sign. The board's going to dispose of them all and transform the hope. We need to get to those colonists before the board. I have... Merciful gibbering law! You're a genius! We bring the hope to us. Skip the entire ship across the distance of colonies. Yes, yes, exactly. You're a step ahead of me, but I perceive the shape. If we link up the hope to the unreliable, then use your navigational computer to calculate a... I don't know much about skip drives, not the physics, anyhow. I do know the Hope's real massive. How's our bitty little ship supposed to skip it? Excellent question, my sharp-witted mechanic. You will use your own ship to power up the Hope's skip drive. Your navigational computer can handle the rest. You'll need to switch on the Hope's auxiliary power using the unreliable. Then, head to the bridge. Your Once you've skipped the Hope next to my... I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope is carrying some... The board would have us believe Halcyon is beyond saving. I choose to... Certainly. How can I help? It wouldn't surprise me. When I pulled you out of the Hope, the board nearly intercepted me. I expect they stepped up secure. I know you're wondering why I'm doing all this. Why I believe the people on the Hope are the answer to the colony's problems. The Hope... The board would have a...
If you don't mind my saying, Captain. We have arrived at the Hope. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Or the Sun. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is... not... That ought to do her, Captain.
Welcome aboard, Captain. Ms. Akande messaged ahead. I wish this place were in better condition for you, but we're in a bit of a bind. Do I look like an engineer? All I know is, they're shooting anyone who ain't Hope Crew. We shut off the main power, so they're disabled for now. But if you go hooking your ship up, I suspect they'll recharge. And that means trigger happy auto mechanicals. I'm not going to get in your way. We tried that. Didn't work. We stored what cards we could find in the badge station to my right, but it's locked off. Can't just hand over whole property. Sorry. I'd heard rumors, but I never thought. Whew. All right. I'll have someone open the door for you. Need something, sir? Sure, I ain't going anywhere. Need something, sir? Just broken it.
poor bastards. They're never going to wake up. The least we could do is bury them. Sam, for a cleanup? That's it. Captain, we ought to go. Please. This place is giving me the fucking creeps. the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. <laughs> Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer. Certainly, you may... Doing so would bring the Hope within close... Your act with... Are you sure? And also potentially kill and jump... I wouldn't... Oh no. Captain, don't do this. I ain't dying on a fucking ship. I'm gonna die in the dirt like we're meant to. Admitting it does. ADA, does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The zero point drives corp and I. Yes, I am aware. You should not be doing. Thank you. Good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on... Oh, oh. I feel like I've been turned inside out. Let's not do that again.
Captain, I am res Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Weller. The board is here. They've found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me to board. You fucking- It would seem there are- How can I be of assistance? Goodbye.